visit to the Botanic Gardens is an excellent way to spend some time. You not only get to see heaps of wonderful plants, you can also get some really good garden design ideas and inspiration. Now this is the Royal Botanic Garden, Sydney. I'm here on a botanical expedition. The garden has around 4,000 mature trees throughout the 30 hectares, and this one has to be one of the best. This is a magnificent and very old specimen of Brachychite and Rupestris, the Queensland bottle tree or narrow leaf bottle tree. Now these are native to southeast Queensland. You find them in the dry forests. Now these trees are important in Aboriginal culture because they could tap into the trunk and get water and also the starchy roots and seeds are edible. These rupestris are less mature examples and at a size we'd be more accustomed to in an average garden. Cycads are some of the oldest plants on the planet, dating back way before the dinosaurs. They're descendants from cycad ferns, which were abundant on the planet some 200 million years ago. Now, these encephalatus are native to Swaziland, Mozambique, and the Transvaal of South Africa. But we also have our own cycads here in Australia, things like Macrosamia and Lepidosamia. Now, they might look a bit like palms, but they are their own group related to conifers because they're cone-bearing plants. This is one of my favourite architectural trees, Dracaena draco. This massive Dracaena draco is well over 150 years old and most likely the oldest of its kind in Australia native to the Canary Islands, Cape Verde Island and Madeira, just off the top of Africa there. Now, it's unlikely that you're going to be able to pick one of these up at the nursery, but there are much smaller ones and they really are beautiful in all sorts of gardens. The Dracaena Draco.